Is, is this Clark, this uh, know, interstellar right? comet? I mean, it's, it's... Yeah, big news. I don't see Clark. Oh, maybe he's still sleeping. Dad. <laughs> Some of Clark's larger fragments are now expected to enter our atmosphere. That's right. I know that just what are they saying? The More of the well, same. I bet you it's going to make a heck of a show. first chunks is about to hit. Hit? Only part of it. It's going in the ocean. Two. But you look at that. One. Wait, what is the explosion? We now are getting word that the fragment has hit Central Florida. Oh my God. Wait, are some more pieces gonna hit? Come on, let's go. But the sky's on fire. Two days. They got it all wrong. There's a ton of fragments. Planet killers. Space agencies are predicting an extinction level event. We're gonna be together, all right, kiddo? We're just trying to get to safety. They've been tracking the military flights to bunkers in Greenland. It's their only chance. Move back! We'll find him. It's okay. Clark's largest fragment will hit in less than 24 hours. I swear I'm gonna get my family in that bunker. I know you will, son. If you are hearing this broadcast, seek shelter immediately. What is it? What's going on? If you are hearing this broadcast, seek oh my shelter God, John, go! Hang on, Nathan. Seek shelter immediately. Seek shelter immediately. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Simi Yahweh by Sima Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and Great Millstone. And Barakatha to all you brothers who are teaching this truth with faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, okay? And that uh, preview was a movie called Greenland that I just showed you. And uh, it was about meteors, uh, meteor fragments, you know, coming out the sky, you know, hitting the earth with great power and destruction, man. And through the spirit, that, that remind me of uh, what the missiles are going to do, man. What those nuclear missiles will do, man. And, and as those... Uh, Meteors were falling onto the earth. The people were panicking, man. The people were uh, the people were uh, looking, you know, looking for a place to go, man. Looking for shelter, man. Ultimately, looking for a bunker, man. They was trying to get inside those bunkers, and we know in that day, the elite, <laughs> the elite. You know, they, they know what's going on, man. They probably already in their bunkers right now if they're not, you know. And uh, these uh, these doomsday preppers, man, they're not even, you know, they're not even prepping for themselves, you know. Because they're not, they, in that day, they might not even make it <laughs> to that bunker. They might get killed on the way there. And the man of the Lord might come across it, you know? And so, uh, I want to get Isaiah chapter 66. And this is verse 15, okay? For behold, the day, so like you, for behold, the Lord, Yahweh, will come with fire. And his chariots, like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, man. And that's going to be those nuclear missiles. And also, it's going to be those chariots. They're going to be shooting. <laughs> they're going to be shooting pure, pure energy, man, down here on this place, America, Babylon the Great, man. But ultimately, those missiles, man. You know, 
For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. The slain of the Lord shall be many, man. Because Yahweh Shai, you know who the who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And uh under that uh <laughs> under that plantation Christianity, okay, you're you're taught. That uh, this this guy Jesus is gonna come back, and uh, and actually save everyone, man. Slack, yeah, I cut off on me, so I'm gonna uh, pick up where I left off. Uh, I was going over the name of Yahweh. Yahweh is the Yahweh, okay, who the world ignorantly calls God, okay, and Yahweh Shai is his son, okay, and. Yahweh Shai is going to come back <laughs> to destroy, man. He's not coming back to save, man. Like uh, this plantation Christianity, what have you believed, man? He's only coming back to deliver the 144,000 elect, man. And they will be scarcely saved, you know? Only 144,000 of the Israelites will be saved. And two-thirds... Of the Israelites are going to be destroyed. So what does that say about all you other races? If Yahweh Shai, you know, is going to destroy his own people, you know, and uh, I want to go get uh, let's go to Amos. This is Amos chapter 9 and verse 8, okay? Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. And that sinful kingdom is, is America, man. Babylon the Great, okay? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Okay, Yahweh Shai is not gonna utterly destroy the house of Jacob, man. A remnant will be will be delivered, man. The one hundred and forty-four thousand will be saved out of this place, America, Babylon the Great, man. And that bleed go takes me to uh, that's gonna take me to First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, chapter five. And uh, I'll start at verse. I'll start at verse one, okay. But the times and the season, <coughs> Slakia. Okay, this is verse one, chapter five, first th first Thessalonians. Okay, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, okay. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, man. And the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief into the night for you people that don't know the times, man. That That's not watching. That's not watching the signs, man. You going about your daily lives, thinking this shit is just going to keep on keeping on, you know. I mean, this, this year alone, 2020... You know, this this shit, everything that's happened so far, this shit should tell you something, man. This shit should tell you something, man. When have you ever walked around? When ha have you ever had to uh, be forced to wear a mask to walk inside a store, man? If that don't, you know, tell you something right there, man, then, man. And this is uh, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, and then, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon, upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief, man. And now I want to go get a... Uh, This is with, yeah, wisdom of Solomon. Okay. 
Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 2, okay? When they see it, they shall be up, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for, man. So when you have a shy, he comes with those chariots, you know, with those nukes. And uh, chariots are, uh, are what you people uh, know as UFOs, man. They're actually the chariots of your power, man. If you're if you're an uh, if you're an Israelite, man. Okay. And brothers, the one hundred and forty-four thousand elect, they're gonna be beamed up. They're gonna be beamed up on those chariots, man. They're gonna be delivered on those chariots, man. That's how the house of Jacob will not utterly be destroyed, man. Okay? And that's pretty much all I wanted to go into on this lesson. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and Great Millstone. And Salawam to the hopefully elect. I hope you're edified.